What's up, y'all? I got a family to feed, so let's get into this tea. We're about to get into um, Sky Jackson arrested and charged. Uh, Corey said Maddie cheated. Let's get it. Sky Jackson was arrested in Universal City Walk. Allegedly, a security guard saw Sky Jackson pushing her boyfriend several times during an argument. So the security guard came over and Sky Jackson told them that she was pregnant and engaged, which I'm pretty sure she said that she was pregnant to get out of jail time. But if she is, congratulations. The article goes on to say, sources tell us security clocked the altercation and didn't detain the couple until law enforcement arrived. Our sources say Jackson and her boyfriend both denied anything. He is a straight up snitch. Anything got physical. To the contrary, she said they were happily engaged and expected a baby together. Deputies say they reviewed video footage and saw that she pushed him. Jackson was arrested for misdemeanor domestic battery, cited and released a couple of hours later. A couple of hours ago today, she did post up her boyfriend, so they still are together despite everything that happened. To arrest a Disney character on Universal City Walk is crazy. They right. could have let her go with a warning or a ticket. It was not that deep. Granted, I didn't see the altercation, but damn, like when it comes to Maddie and Corey, that's ridiculous. They are a mess. A couple of days ago, they broke up. Maddie revealed that she's really pregnant. Corey left the house and ended up moving in with a whole nother girl. Supposedly, according to Maddie, the girl was stalking her. But to come to find out, the girl actually came out and revealed herself. And she was on Corey's live talking and dropping subliminals as well. How you feel about the, a lot of the allegations about my, my, my name? It's, it's one allegation I want to clear up because, you know, I have nothing negative to say about you, Maddie. I don't know the situation like that. You know, it's a lot of people just tagging me in comments saying I'm your new girlfriend. So I just want to clear something up that I reached out to Corey. Well, my PR reached out to Corey to do a promo for my uh, new dessert shop, Peach Cobbler Factory, that's opening. So Corey was telling me his date uh, of when he, he's going to be in Dallas. And all of a sudden, I get a call from a Georgia number, and she called my phone like going crazy. So I just want to clear that up. Um, <clears throat> and another thing I want to clear up is chaotic speaking neg neg negatively on my name to her. Right. And I'm riding, I'm riding in a Maybag right now that he say is his Maybag. So the same huh? Maybag that he put up, yeah, the same Maybag that he posted. Saying that he bought it up, freckles. Welcome, self a Maybach. I'm riding in it right now. No, yeah, the one, the one, the one that he posted, he had wrapped in mint black. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I don't What's even that? know why he's speaking, speak like, appreciate the self word on mom. about me and this and that and all that kind of stuff. Like, you, you stunted in my Maybach for 30 days, and then when I got my Maybach back, I had to fix my own tire. You didn't even have the money to fix my tire on my Maybach. Those you know, are two allegations I want to clear up. Listen, listen, what listen. Maddie saying something about, Chaotic saying something about me, and everybody tagging me saying I'm your new girlfriend, but it was really for a promo for my company. I ain't, I ain't entertaining that, that shit. That nigga said, what it got to do with me? And, uh, girl. Like you see, like, people go, they go say what they want to say. Two things that I wanted to clear up because she don't even. Okay. Said, Why are you talking to Kayada anyway? If you pregnant and hey, you hey, just up, broke up two, three, two, three days ago, you already talking to Kayada? Yeah, that is kind of shady, huh? But she did, cause she did tell me she was like she went to the club. Uh, uh, wait, 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 wait. When I went to when I went to Thank Lava you, Party, Shana. she was in the house. She had said she she had lied to her family. Said she gonna come in soon. And uh, you know, she I, I was kind of concerned because I had went, that when I had actually to live. I went to Alabama. And I just kind of like trying to like to get to get away from that. Day. Oh my God! So I'm realizing now. He said that's why she released the messages because she said something about her um, trying to get up out of here, and it's because he was putting that damn demon on her, literally. Like, <laughs> I mean, every chance he got, he was texting. He about to get up out of here. Energy, man, you know, it's like she takes her family and changed her number and told people she was committing. So we had the police to go try to check on it and all that type of stuff and all that good stuff. And um, yeah, and I went down the next day to get my phone from her. So I think that's how she texted you because I had gave her a phone because her phone got turned off. And I just was trying to be a nice person, man, a genuine nigga. And I gave her my phone. And my I was phone. super nice to her. I told her my PR hit him up for a promo for my, my company. Like, I don't know what you all are going through. She sent me a whole Cap. paragraph, like going crazy. Like that. Yeah. 
The girl Danny, her name is Danny. She dropped receipts showing that Maddie actually reached out to her first and she's been trying to reach out to her and she won't respond to her. Maddie said, hey, I pray this comes off the right way. This is Corey's baby mama, Maddie. Damn. We ain't been pregnant but for two seconds. You already been, thirty God, seconds. Damn. <laughs> you know, been pregnant all the ten minutes. Hey, this is Maddie, Corey's baby mama. What? <laughs> Corey claiming ain't his baby. Um, did you get the new girl pregnant? What is she pregnant? Like, so she's pregnant, but we not been sure if it's mine or if, if it's one of the oh. other two guys. That's oh. you know what I'm saying. So it's like. Now I'm I'm willing I'm willing I'm gonna let go take a test I'm really gonna do a DNA so therefore I we can find out because if it is mine, Lord knows what I got a long life to deal with this okay. <laughs> but, but if it's not mine, then thank it's God. okay, Corey. You mine. ain't taking care of none of them anyway. You'll be just fine. Not taking care of this one. Ain't that some shit? <laughs> Golly. I'm telling I'm, I'm as a man, you know. Nothing is, gonna, side, nothing is gonna. Nothing is gonna change. That she is pretty. I stand on that because I see the, it's the truth. Okay. So. Look, you don't know me from nowhere, and I don't know you. I have your number because on the other phone that Corey gave me, I see he was texting you <laughs> saying that you blocked him, etc. I would have never brand. told her that. I would have went to the grave with that. I'm hoping I can talk to you just to ease my mind and figure out if I'm tripping or not. Not taking what I see the wrong way. He told me y'all was going to be doing business together, and that was the dynamic of y'all relationship. Y'all find me a good little uh, cheap little desk treadmill so I can get my... I'm dead ass serious. I feel like... That's gonna help me lose weight a lot, baby, because uh, well, I be I, I be needing to work. Shit, you don't owe me anything, so if you don't want to respond, that's fine. I'm a woman who's in love. Three months and acting like this? I'm just a woman who's in love and I'm trying to move forward, but I'm confused on whether he's being 100 with me. I know you're a woman and so I hope you understand. You can give me a call whenever, thank you. Maddie recently just got out of divorce herself and I told y'all something is off about this girl. Ain't no man leaving a woman that ain't got no kids, got two degrees, got her own house, got her own car, got her own everything going on for herself. It's hard to find women like Maddie. So something gotta be off about you for a dude to leave you. And then he leave you with no kids? Well, nah, Amazon the girl responded because Maddie said that the girl was stalking her. I never That's in my the life contacted the next female about a man. You literally hacked this man's phone and all the messages were practically pertaining to business. What's the and now you're like? on the internet clout chasing. This is so damn delusional. I'm not going back and forth with nobody with $8 to their name. Sis, get now, how she know she got $8 to her name? That nigga Corey done milked her dry. And she let him. Damn sure, let him. Get you some help spiritually, mentally, and financially. Damn. She said, y'all females are going to learn to keep ish between you and that dude. Why the F are you so mad at me? The only thing my manager did was contact him for promo video for my company. And now you're venting to me about a situation that I don't know ish about. And then had the audacity to contact Chaotic asking him, did he know me? You are a real stalker. You are texting everybody in that man's phone. I didn't do all of this type of ish when my baby daddy left. You laugh at the last woman's pain and now these tables have turned. You expect people to show you sympathy. All I can tell you, sis, is to focus on having a healthy baby and to. seek mental health. Them tables turn quick did it sat up there tried to act like she was different she said you gotta teach a man how to love you how that's working out the amazon prime link is in a pinned comment click the link on your browser and or your computer not in the app for you now maddie did speak out and she dropped text messages of her own between her and Corey. and she said i said i could keep going he left because he couldn't be a better man and saw me checking out i still was rooting for him i fought for him as much as i could and still was willing to Corey, you know that even with what i shared i still protected you but you keep going on the internet telling them about me clocking out mentally that was low and you gotta live with that and now you will eat your words like i told you before which i have on recording i don't need nothing from you so neither one of them trust each other because both of them need to record each other just in case something happened so they can have evidence what type of relationship yeah is that's this? crazy i think for shit more than you y'all can go look at the history of how he would speak of me you got two managers who open you mad doors in the music industry because of me i did that shit for you because i believe in you and i wanted to see you on top act like you know let's wrap this up real quick because it ain't much to say maddie knew damn well she wasn't supposed to be with Corey. Corey ain't Hello. even divorced yet she just got a Hello her damn self and she's broken trying to get herself together Hello. and what makes you think in a matter of 30 days this Hello. man was gonna be different he just left his Hello. wife in april he got with you in may Hello. Whoop. friend cook cook 
was going to be the big change. Hello. Now you got to sit back and eat that L because you thought you were smarter than all the people Hello. that was trying to warn you that this is not the smartest move. And if you are going to make this move, make this your slowest move possible. No, you want to rush and get pregnant and have babies with no protection. Ciao. Ain't nothing to say. What is there to say? Why would you be in a relationship with her for two months, move in, get her pregnant? And she's just going crazy. She's making close friends lists, adding people, trying to get money off you. But, like, why would you do that if you really did not want a relationship? So, who said, so let me ask you a question. Who said I didn't really want a relationship? And have you ever thought about that? Maybe. You know, they always say, they say, when you give it a person after three months, you realize who they really are. We need to make it a three. Uh -huh. But it's like, I got a relationship, and I, cause I thought this was genuine. I thought it was real. I thought it was like this is what it was. And then, like, what would you do when you get a relationship with somebody and you start seeing the opposite of what you thought it was? You gonna stay? No, you're gonna leave. Of course, you're gonna leave because, like, what the fuck? You don't want to stay in something cool. that you're not happy in. Also, now, also, you see me get on here, bash her, do all crazy shit, like, try to tell her name down, talk about it. I ain't gonna nah. like uh -huh. All right. See, so if everybody said, why would I leave if she. Yeah, you did. You showed her text messages. <laughs> Correct, right? Mm -hmm. But y'all don't understand. Y'all don't know the real truth. Like, if y'all knew. The real truth, cause I don't need. I, I'm trying to be so real and respect her business. Like I ain't even trying to put business. Like we ain't gonna talk about the guys, the, the guys that you was talking to right before me and all that shit. Do y'all really think that they might be my baby? And in one month, we're gonna be together for one month. Two months is bad. <laughs> yeah, one month, two months ain't got nothing to do with it. I'm gonna keep it fair. time. first time I had sex with a girl was June third. Okay, so my question you already. You, my question to you is: Did you want to get her? It's a possible. It's a possibility. Pregnant or did she want to have your baby? Which one was it? I will say somebody sent me something yesterday and said Maddie looked pregnant in June. Hold on. No, they did, honey. So I was right here. Come look. But damn. She looked pregnant, y'all. Let me put my camera right here. Did she look pregnant to y'all? June 3rd. This is... June, this is June 3rd. This is June 3rd. <laughs> this is June 3rd. He said that's his first time smashing her. Child, this might not be his spiky. I pray it ain't. Because Lord, no, I can't move. Her legs is wide open. That's all you need to see. Child, right under that is her legs. That's her stomach right there. Let me let her move as she was moving. Supposedly she's in the hospital. I'm sure she is. She's pregnant. <laughs> well, I don't know, y'all. I don't know, Che. I was just showing y'all what was going on or whatever. She was bleeding. Oh, Lord. Uh, that's a blessing in disguise. I wish she don't know. You find out. I'm going to keep it a band with you. It wasn't never planned. Like, from, it, like, it wasn't never, oh, let's have a baby. But guess what, though? She admitted to me. She showed me her notes that she wrote in December that her goal was to have a baby in 2024. Oh, so she, she was trying to trap your ass. Oh, okay. That's what was right. Even in this situation, y'all, they just said this girl pregnant. And they just sound the father and all that shit. So if I am the father, if I am the father, now how you going to get on there and do me like that? Now all of a sudden, this fuck nigga on this lame ass nigga, all this blase, 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 blase. I'm not gonna get on here. I apologized already for a lot of my actions, you know what I'm saying? Perfect ain't perfect nigga that nigga goddamn said some shit, defending his name and stuff like that. But I, I really, I really, I really apologize to both parties. Man, I'm doing I'm being a big you know what I'm saying? Corey is not nowhere near that they try to paint me to be. Straight up. And I can understand why they probably be this mad, mad or disappointed. Who the fuck wouldn't really wanna be with me? You feel me? Oh, that's my a fact. God. I don't give a fuck nobody say. If, if, if I give an one of y'all girls a chance, then if I give an M and a chance, and y'all meet me in real life, and y'all see my heart in real life, and y'all see who I really am in real life, uh, you know what I'm saying? Right now, I Niggas ain't... know how to dress that shit up. Y'all have fun with that, though. I ain't even entertained, bro. It's like... 
it ain't like, like somebody said you already did damage. Facts, but it, I got a question. I'm asking you some lie real quick. I got one question. Hey y'all, I don't know what's going on. Um, I was trying to, I'm trying to go live, but it's not letting me. Literally, I can show you guys what's going on right now. I'm not sure why this is happening. I think it says people are freaking reporting my live or something. But it says that I have access, so I'm just gonna email them and see what they say. Cause I'd rather just do live and have to record all this. Cause now this is like, it's just a lot. And then it's like that. Um, I'm at the hospital right now. It's nice to happen at once. Like, like this witch girl is going on my phone. I'm at the hospital right now. People started bleeding. And um, I'm thinking that I'm gonna. I'm thinking that I'm okay because I've bled before. It's her saying that the girl is blowing up her phone. I think that she's also lying about that because she would have showed the text messages. And we had to go before and I was still okay. Um, but now I'm obviously going through this by myself. Like, you know, being by myself. But it's like, I think I'm okay. But it's just the principle. It's just the, the principle of all of this stuff going on at once. Like, I got here this fast. Like, y'all saw me just post. Y'all saw like this is all happening like this. I'm literally like, how is this my life right now? Like, what are the what are the odds? I really cannot sleep right now. Like, I felt restless. Oh God. I think that this whole situation with CJ got me in some shit. And so I'm gonna be really honest with y'all. Not the whole situation got her in some shit. Right now, like, I don't think that I could fully talk about all of this. I'm going to. I y'all sent you some people, y'all sent y'all money and stuff, y'all in here. Y'all wanna watch my life. And I get that. I hope that y'all respect that when it comes to this specific situation, we just gonna leave it alone for right now. Now, Maddie, you cannot give people money and leave shit alone. You better give them something. Hey y'all, uh, I don't know what's going on. Um, I was trying to, I'm trying to go live, but it's not letting me. Literally, I can show you guys like, what's going on right now. I'm not sure why this is happening. I think it says people are freaking reporting my live or something. But it says I have access, so I'm just gonna email them and see what they say. Cause I'd rather just do live than have to record all this. Cause now this is like, it's just a lot. She's saying the same thing like over again. All right. Y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below, child. Um, um, <laughs> a mess. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Yeah, yeah.